Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my favorite nude lipsticks for fair to light skin. And some people may be like, why just for fair to light skin? But if you have fair skin, you know that it's really hard to find a good nude lipstick that doesn't turn brown on you or doesn't turn really dark or ashy on your lips. It's really hard for me, especially when I am, I am normally lighter than this. Um, I just got back from Florida, so I have a little bit of color, but especially when I'm very fair in the winter time, it's, it used to be, I have quite a collection now of lipsticks, but it used to be hard for me to find something that was a true nude color that looked nude on my lips didn't look brown didn't look you know dark pink or anything like that um, so I have quite a selection now and I feel like a lot of people out there know what I'm talking about you know the struggle to find a good nude lipstick and I'm not saying that these colors are just for fair skin you could definitely wear them if you have a medium or darker skin tone they're obviously just going to show up a little bit more pale all right so if you guys are interested in the lipsticks that i'm going to share today then just keep on watching the first lipstick is from wet n wild and it is the fergie collection lipstick and it is called fergie daily this was one of the first uh drugstore nude lipsticks that i found that looked really nicely on my skin Here's a swatch of what it looks like. You can see it's a nice mid-tone nude, not too pale, but then again, not too dark. It also doesn't change the color of my lips to a really brown undertone. That's my biggest problem with nude lipsticks is a lot of the times when I'm really fair, they wanna look very brown. Uh, so this one does not do that. It's a nice neutral color. I would say it may be a little bit more on the peachy side, uh, but I love this. It's a great affordable option and you can get it at Walgreens Walmart wherever the wet mod collection is sold the next option is also very affordable and it's from ColourPop and it's gonna be a little bit lighter actually quite a bit lighter than the Fergie daily lipstick and it is the ColourPop uh, ultra what is this called what are these things called look the label is not even on this anymore lippy stick they are called lippy sticks so this is the ColourPop lippy stick in the shade skimpy you can see it's quite a bit lighter than the fergie daily color it's also a lot more peachy so this has this is a really good color first of all because it's not too opaque it's got like a medium finish to it it's their glossy formula so it has a really nice shine on your lips but i really like this because it doesn't completely uh what, what's like the term I'm looking for. It doesn't completely mask your lips. It's not a full on opaque lipstick. It's right there in between. It has a nice medium coverage and it just gives my lips a really pretty just glossy nude look. So this is definitely one to check out too. The next option is gonna be for those of you who are looking for a super opaque lipstick and I mean these are very opaque especially this particular color this is the buxom true nude lipstick and it's in the shade buff which I believe is the lightest color you can get this is one of the most opaque lipsticks it's also uh, very easy to apply and because it's like such a um, similar to the color pop actually it's just a really nice skinny formula and it's almost like a dupe for the uh, color pop version it's just completely matte so this isn't going to have any gloss to it any shine it's a completely matte lipstick and it's almost like a mixture of the fergie daily and the skimpy mixed together in one but you're not going to get any glossy finish with this this, but believe me when I say that this will completely like nude out your lips this is probably one of the most nude colors I have in my collection just because it is so opaque and I will say it's not the most wearable for me all the time but when I want that like super nude color this is definitely the one that I go with and these are also very comfortable on the lips too they're not like a drying matte formula This is probably hands down my favorite nude lipstick of all time. And it is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in the shade Be Free. I remember when I first tried this lipstick, I just felt like I had found the one. And you can see it's been through some damage. It is literally falling apart 
on me right now, but I did manage to get a swatch for you guys. I love the consistency of this lipstick. It's right here. Um, it's not overly glossy, but it's not a matte formula. It's almost like a satin finish, and it just is like my perfect everyday nude color. Absolutely love, 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 love this lipstick. If I could pick one new lipstick for the rest of my life, it would probably be this one right here. The next color is actually just a more expensive version of the Fergie Daily Lipstick. I would say it's a little bit more comfortable on the lips though, and it's Max Lipstick in the shade Blankety. This is literally identical to Fergie Daily. So this is Fergie Daily right here, and then on the end is Blankety. And I want to say it's a little bit more creamy in texture, it's a little bit more comfortable on the lips, but honestly, if you like the Fergie Daily color, I would just go with it. You would save a lot of money because MAC lipstick or I think $17 and the Fergie Daily Lipstick is uh, I think four or five dollars maybe uh, but I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of people out there you know they love the formula of MAC lipsticks and Blankety is super comfortable on my lips and it gives me just a nice mid-tone nude color. The next shade is more of a salmon toned nude. It's not overwhelming on my lips though because I feel like my lips naturally have that tone. So this is the um, Stila Color Bomb Lipstick in the shade Olivia. This is what the bullet looks like. And you can see right here, it's swatched on my hand. It's much more of a salmon, almost rosy tone nude. But actually on me, it just does not translate that way because that is the natural tone of my lips. I feel like I have a very just mixture of like a salmon rose tone on my lips. That sounds really weird, but I just feel like that's what the undertone of my lips are. Um, so this is what it looks like. Quite a bit darker than the rest of the nudes, but if you feel like your undertone has more of a salmon under, if you feel like your undertone, if you feel like your lips have more of a salmon undertone, this would be a good option. This is also very comfortable. It's called a color balm, so it's almost like a moisturizing lip balm for your lips, but it does have a really nice nude color payoff. Last but not least is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and it is Max Lipstick in the shade Honey Love, and it's basically a matte version of the Stila Color Bomb. I mean, they look identical side by side. The only difference is that the Color Bomb, you can see, has a lot more shine to it, whereas Honey Love is a totally matte color. I do have a lip gloss on top of it, but I remember when I got this lipstick in, I fell in love with it. I wore it for the longest time and I almost considered it to be my favorite nude and then I just rediscovered my Bare Minerals Be Free and I was like nope I think I'm gonna stick with that one but again it's got that more of a peachy salmon undertone to it really flattering great for an everyday nude lip and it looks good matte and glossy if you pair gloss on top of it it still looks really nice alright guys so that is it for my favorite nude lipsticks let me know what your favorite nude lipstick is or if you have a few that you like to wear that are just that perfect nude color. You don't have to be fair skinned. I love, I'm always looking for nude lipsticks. I mean, it doesn't even matter if I'm fair or if I'm self tanned or not. I'm always just snagging up the nude lipsticks here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your questions down below and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.